of y'all saw Michelle Obama tonight. Make some noise if you saw Michelle Obama. Yeah, oh, we're going to fight. Let's do it. Ah, ah, Dungeons and Dragons with Mr. Michelle. Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Big Tent Big Talk Show. Um, you are the show, by the way. The, we are uh, we are here in Denver. Who is here for the first time? Make some noise if you're a mile high for the first time. Noise with hands doing that, or with voices. That's good. That's good. This is like my third time. Have you uh, had the dehydration issue going on? Was well, that before you drank? or So you're drinking alcohol on top of it because you hate yourself completely. That's good. What's your name, dude? Justin. Everybody say, what's up, Justin? So who are you here with? That was vague and weird. Let's try that again. What organization are you representing here, Justin? Florida Progressive Coalition, FPC, like we call it, right? Yeah. I remember when FPC got off the ground, we were all like, yeah, progressives in Florida, coalating. All right, Justin, you played, you played nicely with others. Thank you. What about you? What's your name? Everybody say, what's up, Ray? So who are you here with, Ray? Oh, snap. Progress Florida versus Florida Progressive Coalition. So what's, what's, and you guys are sitting pretty close. Is this like know thine enemy type thing? What's going on here? Are, are you, you're a different organization, but you're both in Florida and you're both progressive. Do you work together? Are you part of his coalition? Oh, man. It's very confusing. I'm, I'm confused. We're all getting a little loopy on this one. Uh, let's go. Tell us, there, tell us your name, sir. Everybody say, what's up, Matthew? Who are you here with? Mexico FBI hub. New Mexico FBI hub. That not is in Federal Bureau of Investigation. Everybody has the weirdest, creepiest answers. Am I putting out like a weird, like mess with me vibe? Like give me mad cryptic answers that conflict with another person's answer? I, what did I do? Is it the shirt that I, I overdid with the, I got mad credentials. Oh, it messes me. You're in the front row, how are you? What's your name? Dave, what's up Dave? Who are you here representing Dave? Dave is representing himself, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, give it up for himself. Himself. Are you guys having an okay time at this convention? Yeah, you having a good time at this convention? Is it kicking Boston's ass? You didn't go. Well, then clearly it kicked Boston's ass. Boston didn't even get you to go there. This one got you to show up. That is much better than the non-existent convention of four years ago that you experienced. I'm going to mess with you all night because you gave me your weird acronyms and didn't explain them. I'm going to have to look at you askance. <laughs> Worry about my safety. So I, um, I'm curious, we got a lot of, are you all, blog if you're not a blogger, clap. I'm curious if we have any non-bloggers in the room. So what are you? And what's that? Field organizer, wait, that means you leave your home, right? And you go out into a, something called a field, <laughs> and then you organize it. Why would you do that? There's like a widget that does that now. You know that, right? There's like the field organizing widget. You install it on in your Facebook profile, and it creates social justice by spamming your friends. You don't know about that? <laughs> Yo, I was on Facebook. I got this, I got this app request from a friend of mine that said, Mike just bought you for $54. I was like, what am I supposed to do? I did what any reasonable person would do. I started a revolution, slaughtered his family, and burned down his plantation. Then I blocked that application, because that is spam. <laughs> the Book of Faces is a very interesting place. Very interesting place. Anybody still on MySpace? I'm just curious. It's good, because you'd have to leave. Like, people on MySpace saying people use pagers. MySpace is the pager of social networks now. You heard it here first. 
Uh, I want to talk quickly about Joe Biden. I want to talk about Joe. How you guys feel about Joe Biden? JB? JB? Listen, I had a very simple prerequisite for Obama's VP pick. His name and Obama's name had to form a nice pop cultural, like, unified name. And Joe Obama, I think, qualifies for that. Maybe O. Biden, if you want that sort of Irish lilt to it. I lived in Boston for 12 years, so I'm very pro, pro Biden, if you will. I guess you won't. Mr. Field Organizer is not impressed. He's like, I've canvassed harder than that joke. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's all right, though. It's all right, though. What I like is that, uh, that the text came out at 3 a.m. That was, that was beautiful. Because I just, in my mind, I just imagine Hillary awake on a like, red phone, a red Blackberry, and it's like, it's 3 a.m., and you just got a text from the next president of the United States says, you're not the one. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, CNN got the scoop. I was very impressed with CNN. They did this thing called reporting, which was so impressive. Uh, they staked out, like, Secret Service detail. They didn't pull, pull all the stops on the talent and technology. I just wish they used that for, like, the build-up to the war or maybe the economic situation. Just, you know, besides, like, scooping a campaign by three hours. That would have been, been really nice. How many of y'all have been on, like, network stuff before, you bloggers who want to be more than that? You've been on the big TV? Make some noise if you've been on TV talking crap to, uh, no. Little TV? What is little TV? Local? That's still big. It depends on, like, is a, whose house you're in. <laughs> I was not very specific. I left a loophole for myself. I make a great legislator. <laughs> Leaving joke loopholes. I was on CNN waiting in the lobby. Things got really dark. And it wasn't the light. It was the, it was the mood. It was the spirit. There was evil in the room. I looked up. I saw former White House press secretary Ari Fleischer. I had a very tough choice to make. Do I shake his hand or do I kick him in the nuts? That's a good question. I said, WWOD, what would Obama do? I chose that center path and I shook his nuts. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just play, have a little fun tonight. You guys are small but mighty uh, audience. And uh, if anybody's sitting in the way back for some weird reason, it would be great if you came on up. Because there's just, like basically what I'm saying is there's anthrax in the back rows. And I don't want you to die while I'm here. Because that would psychologically damage me. Really? Anthrax over sitting closer to a moderately talented comedian. That is, uh, that is really bad decision making. I hope you're not in charge of a major progressive organization. <laughs> bad decision trees, bad decision trees. Um, hey, Katie, how you doing? You want to come on up? All right, here's what we're going to do. I didn't even introduce myself. I'm so sorry. My name is Baratunde Thurston. I'm a blogger with Jacksonville Politics. I work at The Onion. I'm Tired, uh, but fired up and ready to go always. Do you like that? Uh, yeah, uh, no? I don't like you either. Because your organization doesn't make any sense to me. Just like this guy. You guys formed a, a like, row three coalition to mess with me. And now you're just having your way without even saying anything. It's very disturbing. But what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to bring up some company to share this glory because uh, it's just too much. I can't handle it. <laughs> uh, I'm actually drowning in, in Kleos. And uh, I want to introduce uh, Katie Halper, a fellow laughing liberally comedian. Katie Halper, come on up here. And everybody give a big round of applause to Katie Halper, <laughs> blogger with the Huffington Post, documentary filmmaker, laughing liberally comic, and drinker of alcohol at high altitudes. Also, Liberal drinker. doesn't value her life. Yeah. Kimberly, I'll drink to that. So ha have you been having a... So we make ourselves comfortable? I feel like you're a magician and, and you're going to put me in a thing and like saw it in half. I don't do that anymore. I had a bad this experience. This is a really avant garde show. It I is. Like it. it is. This is the small show of the Big Ten, <laughs> by the way. Yes. Um, it's small talk. We're going to rename it small talk. I know. Um, this is the small show of the Big Ten. Yeah. 
it's, it's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, this is like a magic trick. We're so this far away from each other <laughs> and this clearly is, at okay, ease. This is a metaphor for, this is a metaphor for like the separation and the division that's happening right now. In the Democratic all Party. all the progressives should be together, right? But we have progressive alliance for alliance making, whatever. Right. Plus the, the national coordinating coalition for steering committee making. Yes. Right. And then we have like the Planned Parenthood Party right. and the Latino Party. So like God But don't for forget there's also the Hispanic Party. Oh, right. Yeah. And the Spanish. That's really unforgivable. And then the Chicano Party, it. which they don't like either of them. But why, why, it's kind of like when, remember, at, at, how many of you guys here were in Networks Nation? Make some noise for NNOH, hashtag. Remember, I was saying how, like, how my voice was, re okay, Rem is this okay? It sounds weird to I me. I hear you fine. Remember, um. Can you guys hear Katie okay? Because I'm sitting kind of close, so. The, really close. Like. The black and the Latino caucus. Caucasi, cockeye, right, right. caucuses were at yeah. the same time. Cockeye. Because they were yeah. trying to divide and conquer. They successfully did. Or, I now hate all brown people. I know. Yeah. And I and I. Thanks a lot. Or it was because not all of you guys could fit in one room. Right. Because <laughs> both of those populations are overrepresented. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm curious, Katie. What have you been doing with your day here? I cried. Did you? Yeah, when I saw Michelle Obama. Oh, cool. I was just like, in general? Oh, I got here and I cried. Okay. <laughs> I was a little disappointed. Well, you started drinking alcohol right away. That would lead to No, something. there wasn't. I was upset that there wasn't. I don't drink beer, so that's why I was crying. So what's that? It's beer. <laughs> but I don't oh. like drinking it. Okay, I drink it, but I'm not going to. But only on stage. To. Yeah, only I only play one on stage, <laughs> a beer drink on stage. You're, in, you're very convincing. I know. It's really, it's so that, we, no, it's because I wanted the, the stage to be more full. So, <laughs> so I wanted a so third, we, we actually I wanted said another we're like, person. We're like, we're like, stage manager, could we get some more chairs up here? And a little distance between them would no, be nice. No, no more chairs, more beers. We want a, a, a giant screen between us. If you were as experienced as I was, a giant you, would white take, space. you would take a glass and put it on your. I want to take that picture. Take the picture and, and put it next to you. And make it my yeah. date. Um, I'm, you guys want, I, sh can I break a story? Oh, please. Are okay, you guys ready? Um, I realize why Joe Biden is actually a really good candidate. Oh, please okay. do tell. Because he or he has the experience, and right. he has the scrappy Scranton je ne sais quoi about Scranton him. Scranton was mentioned a lot. Um, and then. That's why. And then, you know what else he has? His mojo, if you will. What's his, his mojo, mojo, Biden? He has Al Sharpton's hair. He does, which is... Oh, is that an official product? Is there, are there, like, Al Sharpton hair plugs you can get? It's the Sharptonian. It's the Sharptonian. I like that. It's amazing. Yeah. That is going to... You know, because people, like... You know how people say that Obama's not black enough? Well, they don't, they don't say that anymore. Oh, now he's too black. Ever since Reverend Wright, he's shaft now. Right. I forgot. That's I'm expecting true. I'm expecting Fox News to come out with an image of him in a, like, leather trench coat and some shades and a little beret just smoking fools in the alley. That's That's actually really true. Yeah. Like, cause um, if they don't do it, I will, because that's a pretty good idea. I love, like, all the, the pundits who talk about how white he is or how Caucasian he is, and they've met, like, one black person, and they... This is not funny. This is me being serious, clearly. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so don't feel Put awkward. on your serious filter. No, right. so don't prepare You're to You're about to learn anything. something. No, but it's just so funny. They're Take like, out your he acts skins. really... He doesn't act like a black person. <laughs> and, like, who? what is their black -ometer? Like, I don't know what they <laughs> measure it against. And then Toby Keith... Okay, this is, what? I'm really confused. He has a lynching song, basically, right? Right, right. We okay, all do. Toby first Keith, of all, we all have lynching songs. Why do you act like this is a big deal? Why are you singling out Toby so Keith? Everybody you're wants right. to make it in this business you're called right. show. Yeah, you're right. Has a lynching hey, song. That's how I, I made had it. to have I, one. I auditioned for Netroots Nation with a lynching song video. Yeah, I just keep one on the shelf. You never know who's in the crowd. Marcos, Could be Toby if Marcos Keith. in the crowd, you gotta. That's how you win him over. <laughs> um, he's a sucker for those. Yeah. Okay, so Toby Keith makes this music video, right? And it has like a lynching nostalgia in it, right? He's like a country singer, and I know that's redundant, the whole lynching nostalgia. Oh, I'm, oh, it's his managers are here. Toby Keith's managers, sorry. <laughs> wow.